Welcome to Root Stem Gaming, and in this week's game, we've got the uh, Thousand Sons versus some Gene Steeler Colts. It's been a while since Gene Steeler Colts been on the channel, mainly because of the changes due to narrative play. It's made it quite difficult to play the army. But this is going to be a narrative game. We're going to be playing Crucible of War Data Recovery from page 140, and that's in the Nihilus Vigilus Defiant Book 1, apparently. Might be more of those, I'm not sure. Uh, but basically, somebody's going to deploy here. Somebody's going to deploy over there. And there's going to be random data caches that's going to be appearing. Now, for our story, we're not saying they're data caches. They're psychic nodes. Since Gene Steel Cult are quite psychic linked. And so are V-1000 Sons. And that's all you need to know. It's about what power level. Uh, V-1000 Sons will be playing to 150, roughly. And uh, the Gene Steeler Cult will be playing to 120. And of course, the Thousand Sons will be the attacker in this particular mission. Right, let's take you to some armies. All right, then, Mills. Hey, he's back on the Hello. channel. Hey, it's a pretty awesome t shirt, actually. Deadpool one. Um, you're rocking the Thousand Sons today, sir. Yes. In a narrative game. Have you ever played a narrative game before? A couple, but they've just been. They've been all right. I prefer yeah. narrative games, but they seem to be a little bit one-sided towards a an attacker. Or... Yeah, seem to be a little bit one-sided towards one like aspect or one, yeah. one player. But they do make for a lot more interesting games. A lot more fun games, I've noticed. Right, it's quite bloody. Oh it's... yeah. Now we've got a lovely painted Thousand Suns armor here, painted by Rootstem. Yeah, I'm going to get some advertising in this game. So, <laughs> tell us, sir, what are you rocking today when I can get past you? Well, I've got a battalion, yep. Thousand Sons, which consists of Ariman, Exalted Sorcerer. Ariman there, and the Exalted Sorcerer, which is him from Forge World, isn't it? Yes, I'm on yep. from Forge World, who is a beast in heresy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there are my, my HQs, my three troops, uh, 20 Zangor with Horn. Yep. Uh, two squads of rubric marines with an icon of flame and four saxes. Yep. Uh, that's my battalion. I also have two demon princes with uh, talons yep. and wings. I then have a vanguard. Yep. Which one of demon princes will be their HQ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so two squads of scarab occult. Nice. Um, one, of course, unfortunately unpainted at the moment, not got around to it. Newly acquired figures. Newly acquired figures. Um, a Castellax, which will be used as a Hellbrook for the purposes of this game. Yep. Because one, it looks loads better than a standard Hellbrook, which look bad. And then these guys here. Uh, these guys are a detachment of Space Marine, uh, Chaos Space Marines. Yep. Uh, using Alpha Legion. So yeah. Minus yeah, one yeah. to hit. So we have a standard Predator, since they doesn't they don't benefit from Thousand Suns, so yep. might as well. Two squads of Havocs with yep. rockets and a standard sorcerer in Terminator armour. Standard it. sorcerer. Well, it's, uh, yeah. he is exactly the same rules for Thousand Sons and them, whereas I can have an exalted sorcerer in Thousand Sons, but I can't in. In normal chaos, no. In normal chaos, so it just makes sense to have a. And this is about 150, isn't it? A 150 power level, which comes to just over, literally like. 12 points over two and a half thousand points there we go so that would be about 12 points over two and a half thousand you're not going to get the same info from me because i've not actually counted mine up like that so <laughs> right let's take you over to some cult so this is 120 power level of gene stealer cult we've got two battalions and the one with the elites which i think is elites as vanguard Van that one um so I'm not going to sort of break it down, I'm just going to break it down to HQs. We've got a Omegas and an Icon Ward, a Patriarch and a Primus, and another Patriarch. I love my Patriarchs, I've got about three of them so far. Um, in the Elite sections, we've got a unit of adamants. Apologise for the non painted figure. They're armed as is, so what you see is what you get claws, hammers, picks. picks. Two units of 15 Gene Stealers. They're hopefully going to be. Uh, Quite nasty once they do manage to turn up on the tabletop. If you know the mission, we can only deploy up to a third of our forces. We've got a Goliath Rock Grinder with a Seismic Cannon. 
and then these have been well effectively there we're going to be backing up all these troops so we've got a unit of 10 and a unit of 5 hybrid neophytes uh, we've got a, just a single squad of um, brood brothers and then we've got 30 in squads of 10 of acolyte hybrids so they're just a basic bog standard guys We've got a unit of Brood Brother Heavy Weapon Team, so that's got a, a three rocket launchers in there. Two Armoured Sentinels with Heavy Flamers. Standard Lehman Russ with Battle Cannon and three Heavy Flamers. That'll be quite interesting to see if, <laughs> what that can do if it rocks up. And then a Lehman Russ with a Nova Cannon, Las Cannon, two Plasmas. And two Armoured Sentinels with Las Cannons. That's pretty much it. The psychic powers will be able to tell you during the game. Same for sort of Mills' forces. And of course, we'll tell you what his warlord traits are if they've not already popped up at the bottom of our screens. Right. So it's deployment time. And again, a plug. Everything pretty much painted by me. Boots them. Yay. So deployment's bit gone. Oh, it's been done. And also got a Predator, unit of Rubric Marines, his Exalted Sorcerer, Hellbrute, and another unit of Rubric Marines. That's his third, because it could set up to about 50 points. He's not used any special stratagems to get towards the centre. We're not quite sure where these nodes are going to be appearing. And for me, i got lips. Now, in the interest of fairness, of course, it's these units here that are turning up on the battlefield to begin with. So they're going to be ones that's deployed. Now in this mission, you roll a D6. Whoever gets highest, re-rolling ties, gets the first turn. So, I've got a four. And I've got a six. So you get the first turn, sir. What about Just, season? It doesn't say you can. It doesn't Just say says, you can't. doesn't say you can, mate. Uh, so... Just so that you guys know, we do use actual D3s. So when we're rolling these and we're saying 3 and 1 and 2, they actually are a D3. Uh, we are going to be checking the rules, but I do believe it will be Mills to go first. So, first turn. Uh, my units have been revealed. Hell of a lot of armour down that side. And Mills has moved forward. Now he's... Sorcerer has stayed still because it's a narrative play game. This guy can summon additional forces onto the battlefield. And normally we just crack on with a psychic phase and let you guys see the results. But this is the first time we've ever really done this. So it's 3d6. Any doubles or triples are mortal wounds. So he suffers a mortal wound. And he has a power rating of 10. Meaning he can bring in a unit with a power rating of up to 10. So I'm going to bring on... Six screamers. Now, I apologise that these are not on bases. They, uh, he needs to have them painted up before we can be glued. So they are deployed within 12 inch of his sorcerer, and 9 inch away from enemy units. So some psychic powers. They've increased their invulnerable save. Well, they're saving throw no, by. He increased their invul. Yep, he increased their invul by one. And then a couple of smites because they've got a range of 24. Has taken two wounds off this Lehman Russ. He's now opening fire with his units. He's got two hits. And he's going to need sixes to wound Elliman Russ with his bolters. He got oh, one. So it's a minus of two because of his special rounds. And it bounces off the Lehman Russ armour. And then this squad will be doing the same. So, so he's going to be out. So and repeat. Range, needing freeze. Does the sorcerer. Reroll re the one. But okay. Exalted yep. sorcerer. I think that's a typo. I think Exalted Sorcerer should be the rolls of roll one to wounds. wound, but in the codex it says ones to hit. It's probably because you can't have captains in Thousand Sons. Nothing. Nothing. So the bolt rounds, wraith in flame, bounces off this overcharging Lehman Ross. <laughs> and then these and then shots, if they're in this range. Guy. Just checking. Predator's opening fire, he's got range of a Lehman Ross and the guard unit, the Brew Brothers. Predator cannons firing into the brood. So we've got five shots. Five shots. Needing fours due to the movement. And then the two blue in his hand for last cannons slamming into the Lehman Russ battle tank. And I can't see, well, the blues, one of the blues is hit for those that can't see it. 
And two predator cannons here. So you're going to need threes, threes on, on the blue. Oh, no, no two's, two's on the on red. red. Two's on the red. So a last cannon and a predator cannon as hit. Predator cannon is a minus one. Minus one. So it's a minus one plus one because of cover. And that will be one of the um, Brew Brothers down. This is in cover from that angle. So it's a plus one to me save, but I still need a five. Bounces off again. That's it. Even without the cover. Right, let's take that model off. At the end of turn, Mills' turn one, he's moved forward and a bit of wounding, but not a lot. I didn't expect a lot of casualties in this first turn, if I'm honest. No. Um, but it does depend on what the uh, response is going to be from these vehicles. Right. So, Gene Steel Cult, turn one. Not a lot of movement. Sentinels, these two Sentinels ran forward. I've got heavy flamers, I need to get in there. Last cannon Sentinels moving up, trying to get a bead maybe on, it's gonna be in cover, but maybe on that, uh, what do we call him? That bloke with claws. Yeah, Hellbrute. That's him. He's moved up, but he can't really see anything. And that's because wherever he goes, it's pretty much blocked, especially with that statue in the middle of this terrain piece. Uh, my heavy weapon teams can can actually see some of a hell brute, which is not so bad. If you look in the distance, um, so they're probably going to be opening fire there. Right, let's do some shooting. With the Lehman Russ, it's going to open fire upon its counterpart in the Predator. It's moved five, so it's allowed to fire its main gun twice. So it's D6 shots with battle cannon, so it's two D6. So that'll be eight shots with the battle cannon. It on fours because of grinding advance. So its main gun, its turret weapon, never counts as moving. Its spawn side ones will do, but its main gun is always counted as standing still, so I need fours. They're off to it anyway. No? Oh, the heavy flamers are, yeah. And then your toughness is seven, isn't it? So I'm going to need threes to wound, it's strength eight. I got three, it's a minus of two and D3 damage a piece. How many did you get? Uh, three of them, sir. Stop one, so I take phones. So, no, it's 2d3. Oh, is it 2d3? 2d3. Yeah, 2d3. Five. Oof, taking a hit there. I think if you go down to five, you're on a different profile, aren't you? I think so, yeah. That's down to one and two. No other weapons can fire from that because they're flamers, so moving along. Rocket is going against the Hellbrute. The Hellbrute is touching terrain and is 50% obscured from the direction of the firer. That's how we play it, and he gets a cover save. Right, so, uh, needing fours. Didn't hit. Rinse repeat with the three rocket launchers behind him. All impacting in the hell brute. We've got one hit. Strength eight. Toughness six. It's not even oh. wounded. It's toughness seven. It's Rinses still a three. Six. Still a three. It's not wounded, so I'm going to have to rely upon these two sentinels firing las cannons into the brute itself. I'm going to get cover there, aren't I? Yeah, you will do, mate. From <coughs> both sentinels, you're going to get cover. <coughs> and both of these sentinels are going to need fives. So I'm going to fire them both together. i got okay. one hit. I need a three to wound. It's a wound. It's a minus of three, but it is in cover from that angle. And I don't get a... I ain't got an invon save. I don't think so, sir. But I no, think I if have. you have, it's I still the same. I just don't know that armour. I think... So it is a three up. So it fails that. It fails that. So it's D6 damage from the last cannon. And it's a three. So it goes down to five. So it goes down to five and wounds. Crazed. Nope. Nope. Is it if you get a six, you're crazed? On a result of a one, he makes oh. an immediate shooting attack. Or so if he's it... in combat with somebody within an inch, he makes you, an You did roll a one. No, I said a six. Oh, you said one. No, if he's within. With my shooting phase, I stripped off a couple of wounds from that guy and knocked him down to near half. That is about it. We kind of both of us not really that eventful against each other there. Right, now, it is going to be going into turn two, but we've got to roll. So, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll roll for the short board edge. And then you, uh, good sir Craig, will roll for the long table edge. So, you roll a d6. So, I've got a two. And a three. And a three. So, let's find out where that drops. So, in fact, the marker, because it's the attacker's table edge, one to two is kind of 12 inch in from there. And then Mills rolled the centre. So... The first markers drop down there. Remember, boys and girls, it's whoever claims the most of these at the end, and you have to have no enemy units within six of them at the end of the game. So, Craig's now going to be doing his movement. 
and then we'll bring you back in for reinforcement rolls. We'll probably skip the psychic phase and bring you in for shooting. So, Mills has kept this guy still. They've stayed still, they've moved forward, and so is his Hell Brute. Now he's spending two command points for a special stratagem on data recovery that allows him to add one signal summit. Signal the attack. So he adds one to all his reserve rolls because normally he needs fours to bring his reserve on in this game. So you need three, sir. So select a unit and roll dice. I'll just roll through them all. So Avex. They're on. Yep. Them Avex. Yep. yep. Terminator. Yep. Yep. Sango. Yep. Oh my god. Shaman. No. no. <laughs> Terminators. <laughs> yep. It's two are they two separate squads? Yep. Yeah. Other Terminators. Yep. I thought there were two squads of Oh no, I'm sorry, it's, my brain. They normally come in fives, yep. but it's two squads what of about, ten. Um Demon Prince. Demon Prince. Yep. yep. Harriman. Harriman. Yep, Demon Prince. No. No, so you've got a so demon the... prince and a shaman that's not turning up on the tabletop. Everyone else is coming in. Now they can deep strike. He can deep he strike. He can deep strike. Everyone else has to come on your table edge within six inch of it and nine inch away from enemy units. Unless you spend two command points. Now remember, this is narrative, so you can do this stratagem multiple times. No, no. So if you wanted to, and you wanted your Havocs coming up behind my area, <coughs> you could spend four command points and both squads could turn up behind me. So let's see what he does with his units. But units are down everywhere. He's got some Terminators teleporting in. He's got units coming up on the backfield. I feel very outnumbered at this moment in time. Uh, we've pretty much got to the end of the movement phase. Kind of. This is because all this is happening kind of simultaneous. It's very strange. You, sir, are you summoning? Yep. Are you spending the command points for 4d6 and not suffer a mortal wound? No. No. 2, 3, 4. So no mortal wound. No mortal wound. Four, and five, it gives six, me seven, 9. Eight, 9. Which means I can't bring on my pink horrors because they're 10. Alright, okay. So it means my flamers will be coming on. Unless you want to command point one of those dice. Now. Flamers appearing. They are now on the table. So we're going to do Mills' as psychic phase. And possibly any relics he wants to do if he wants to use any. Um, yeah, and <laughs> we'll come back and show you some cards. <coughs> Psychic phase wise, we've got prescience on this unit plus one. We've had a mortal wound caused against the vehicle. Two mortal wounds caused against the uh, unit down here. They've gone down to two models. Immortal wounded with three different powers from Araman onto one of the flamer sentinels to cause it to die. It didn't explode, but it did cause it to die. And. I'm in a very sticky predicament. I've been surrounded by Thousand Suns. There's a hell of a lot of candy red on the table. My <coughs> units have not yet turned up though. So it's going to be one of those where it's like, what's going to happen? We're not sure. Right then, sir. Shooting. What's shooting first? Uh, we'll get the little piddly crap sorcerer out of the way first. This one? Yeah, that one into your heavy weapon team. And he's not got minus two to his bolt rifle because he's not a true Thousand Suns. No. So three hits. No, no wounds. wounds. That's why he's not a true thousand. That's why he's not. He's a thousand sons in training, not doing very he's well. He's not even in training. He's a, he's a cultist. <laughs> Squad, which actually stood still. Yep. He's got prescience. So that all of them are going to get two shots apiece, regardless of range out of that unit there, due to the uh, the new Bolt bolter missing. rules. So it's going to be twenty shots going into the armored sentinel. So he's going to need twos to hit. It's all of them. And then he's going to need fives to wound due to the toughness of six. Fact, it were twos re rolling ones because I remember at back of them. Yep. Oh, don't matter, you've hit them all. Toughness what, sorry? Toughness six. He's going to need fives. But it is the minus two. That's the minus two. It's the minus two that's going to get one, me. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, five. That's it, five. So it's not dead. Even if I fail all these. And I did fail them all. So it's down to one wound left. So the heavy bolter choose. from that is going to go into the armored sentinel. The armored sentinel will be obscured from that position, so and he is on the cover. So he will get a cover save from this heavy bolter. And I think you've got a sure if it's a twin heavy bolter or if it's just a heavy bolter. I think it's a twin, sir. 
the twin, so that's going to be six heavy bolter shots. Needing your moves, oh, so you need moves. fours. Well, it's not bad. It's still needing fives and sixes. None. Ooh, none. So the Sentinel survived a flurry of heavy bolter rounds. These are freshly painted models, so I am expecting the Sentinels and the Lehman Russ battle tanks to die. It's opening up. Everything's going into the hold down Lehman Russ. So got two last cannons in blue. And then he's got two D3 shots with his main weapon. Only one of each. Any more command points wanting to spend? No. No. So, needy. Last cannon in blue. Freeze because it's fours because you have a downer profile plus the one for. Well, let's double check it. That's the correct. It's two to hit because it's saved still. So That's all, hit. all hit. Didn't even need the. I need that to wound. Yeah. <laughs> so, swapping some dice. The reds needing fives, the blues needing threes. Right. So against the blues I need fives because I'm hold down in cover and against that I need threes. So I saved one last cannon. That one goes through for a straight three damage. Yep. And then one last cannon causes two. another two. So that will be five wounds, five wounds off the Lehman Ross. Up now. now three of them, these three at the front, can actually see that oh, sentinel. You said three and him, didn't you? H him, yeah, but he's only got a pistol, hasn't he? No, he's got bolter and bolt pistols. Oh, has he? Right, yeah, yeah. okay. I got, thought they just had uh, bolt pistols then, no, mate. No, no, they've all got bolt and then and bolt the pistols. rest of them will be opening fire against the Lehman Russ tank to try and take that down. So the so, first one then. So the red is for Lehman Russ. Radio. The blue is for yep. the armoured centre. Radio, then, sir. That's all right. Not too bad, need threes. Unfortunately, I would have preferred it to be a red that missed. Fives and sixes on the red. Fives, on, fives and sixes on them all, isn't it? No, nope, sixes on the red. Oh, yeah. Just for Lehman Russ. One on Lehman Russ and one on Sentinel. Right, so the Sentinel is pink cover. So it will be, rather than it being a minus two, it's going to be a minus one. So four up for the Sentinel. Yep. And um, against the Lehman Russ tank, there's not enough that's going to be obscured. So it will be a minus two, so I'm going to need a five. No, so that reduces that one down to three. Damn. Opening fire. Rockets are going into the Lehman Russ. There's no minus for movement. So three hits. Strength is eight. Needing fours. I've got Just one that's gone through. Do you, are you into repeating with the other? I'm going to see what happens first. Okay. Two. Going to need a five. No, so D6 damage. That's one. Do you want to command point it? No. No, so uh, that's going to have 11 wounds remaining. Are you into repeating? Sinking. In fact, I will command point it and I'm going to rinse repeat with that because right, they only okay. do one damage, don't they? They only do one damage, yeah, but they're not. No, I know they're not. Yeah. But they have a minus two, whereas that has a minus one. Yeah, it's true. So, so you're down to six command, command point. points, he's changing the damage to a six. six so that reduces Lehman that down Russ. to six wounds left remaining. And then same four rockets yep. into the, into your other Lehman Ross. Yep. Same Lehman Ross, sorry. Uh, again, do you want to hits. command point any of these hits? No. No, so three hits, needing force. Another one. one. Again, do you want to command point any of them? No. I'll wait and see what happens. I'll command point. And I still fail. So. I'll come on point I'll that. Come on point that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so Mills is opening fire with this team here. Four of which are going to go into the heavy weapon team. And six are going to go into the other squad. He's leaving the wounded Lehman Russ alone for the moment. One, two, three. So he's four, counting his dice. Five. We'll be doing the usual fast rolling, so it'll be blues will be for the heavy weapon team, yeah. and reds will be for the standard team. Needing threes. Fifteen hits on the single squad, ten hits on the heavy weapon team. We roll that. Yep, sure. There you go, sir. Needing threes. It's going to be bad. It's not looking good. So you've got seven, seven on the heavy weapon and nine seven. 
on the uh, not nine, sorry, ten on the um, and then ten squad. on the normal squad. So the heavy weapon team plus one for my cover, so it turns it to a four, and then minus two for your bolters, which makes them sixes. This is a heavy weapon team. They're gone. They're dead. And then for the other squad. Got a couple of sixes, so that'll be two, four, six, eight wounds, and I did lose one guy already, so I'll double check what that is. Bad shape over there, one heavy weapon team left remaining on one wound and lost seven of his buddies. So his morale's going to be a bit of an issue. <laughs> right then, sir. Is it these guys? Yeah. Are they opening fire on the Limonrust tank? Yeah. Trying to reduce, I am in cover, but it's still that minus one is going to hurt. It's minus two plus one, and it's only three wounds left. Mills is trying to get all the dice in his hands. I'm hoping to kill it so I don't have to charge three of the flamers. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. That is a good point, sir. Ooh, quite a lot of hits. 27 hits out of 40. He's going to need sixes to wound. It's a flurry there. That was it. That was on it, flurry. That little. That little. That little. That's still six. Yeah. Still six with effectively a minus one. So it's 50 50, it's four up to save. <sighs> right, I'm going to command point. Oh, put me that, put command point that one. Oh, and then I'll command point that one. <laughs> no, I'm not going to command point anymore. I'm just going to wait now. <laughs> Do you explode, sir? No. That Lehman Russ has gone. So, a lot of death. I've not got a lot of guys left. This is what happens when the majority of an army turns up versus a third. <laughs> not a lot. Um, now, these two are now going to be charged by this lad here. Uh, he's definitely going to need a lot to be able to get into both, but he might as well have a go. So, it'll be two last cannon overwatches. But do you want to roll the dice just on camera, just to see what you get? Because you are going to need at least a 9. I need 9 to get into the first one. Yep. I need an 11 to get into the second one. Go on then, sir. That's an 8, so you're not going to get into any. You can use command points to re-roll one or both dice. So there'll be two command well, points to re-roll both. Uh, yeah, but I don't have to spend them straight away, so I'll use no, no. one. Yeah, that's a good point. Re-roll. That 4 becomes a 2. No, so I can't hack it. <laughs> So, two last kind of shots then, let's do that on camera. Nothing hit. So that was anticlimactic. Any other charges? Uh... <laughs> so you can try. Yeah, you, you'd be like nine, ten inch away or something. I need ten. I need ten to get it. Do you doing I, it? Do I want to do it? The thing is, if I go down there... You're going to leave a big gap in the middle for reserves to turn up. That's what I mean. So at minute, you can't really deploy. It's going to be like in here, yep. which is quite far away. So yeah, no, yeah. I'm, going to, I'm going to leave it as it is. No problem then, sir. No problem at all. I'll leave it as it is. I don't, I don't want to wipe you off table completely in turn two. All much. right, okay. Thank you very much there, uh, Craig. Thank you. Right. Let's go into Gene Steeler's turn two. Amazing movement. He moved up. They stood still. He stood still and used a command point for devoted crew, meaning he could fire on his full effect. And the guy yeah. that ran away. And the guy, well, he, that was supposed to be end it turn, it'll be your turn when that happens. So he ran away, and now I have to roll for my reserve. Warlord first then, Broodlord. Free up, he's on. The other guy, he's not on. Magus, he's on. This unit here. They're on, this unit, they're not, this unit, they are, oh, I need more dice, no, this guy here, yay, this unit, yep, so they've all been rolled for, they're turning up regardless because they went into Colt, Reinfo they went into Return to the Shadows, so they automatically come on this turn, Adamants are actually in the transport, so I roll for the Goliath Rock Grinder, no, and then, I roll for this one and pay a command point for them to automatically turn up. So one of the units is coming on, and the other unit is also coming on. So one command point spent, and I've got quite a few units coming onto the tabletop. On the board, units everywhere. 
Uh, they play two command points to set up within three. We've got a couple of squads down here against Terminators. It's not going to end well. <laughs> I did manage to play mass hypnosis on these guys, so they can't fire Overwatch, and they're now at a minus one to hit. Hmm. It's going to be not much shooting, I don't think. Well, there might be. There might not be. We'll see. We'll check what they're closer to, actually, because I, I might not be able to get both blast cannons at that Demon Prince. But, right. Gene Steeler Colt shooting phase. Same wave, I'm going to heavy flame at that squad in front of me. Yep. So, five auto hits. Now, you're tough as five now, aren't you? Havoc. On Havoc. So, force to wound. That's three. You need force to save. Kills one. Kills one. So, the sergeant's going to go down, because we know that that's what always happens. Yep. On Havoc, it does. And then we've got four pistol shots, because we've already measured. From the Acolyte squad, leading fours, two hits, leading fives, one wound, sir, normal armour on the same, Havocs. Same squad or yep. other one? same squad. Yep, it's fine, <laughs> knocking his own figures over. Hey, if he uh, gives me sixes all the time, I'll, I'll roll play. Oh, that's true, two. that is true. Now, we've measured for the Sentinels, that one can fire at him, he can't. So that's what he's going to do, he's going to fire at the lad over there, leading a four. Missed. And then this sentinel will try and resume his previous shot. He's moved. He has. I'm just going to have a look. You can see him, but you are going to get cover, sir. Falls to hit. He hits. Freeze to wound. He wounds. Minus three, plus one. Oh, he's saved. Miles away. I can't see his dice well. <laughs> and it's, yep, he's got a five, so the cover has come into effect there. And managed to be able to save that bloke. Right. It's going to have to be the Lehman Russ. And then some other lads. Lehman Russ is on full profile because of the command point. 2d6 shots. He's got an 11. 11 shots needing fours. Not bad, not bad. Freeze to wound. That's five, sir, with a minus of two. So that'll take you to your four up. Going to in run, well, four up save. What was it against? The Terminators. So I'll have see. Two. Right, it does D3. So it's, it's not, it's a five up in run then, isn't it? Look, okay, it's minus two and you're two up armour, so it's a four up, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> uh, two go through. Two go through. First one causes three, the second one causes one. So you've killed one. So I've killed one. And then I've got the two, well, I've got the last cannon, which I'll do now. That hits, and that wounds. That will be your five up, sir. Nope, nope. so the one that caused two has gone down. And then the heavy, the two plasma sponsons, 2D three shots. It's got three shots. I am overcharging, need fours. All hit, twos. need twos, all wounded, needs fives. Why am I rolling four down? I don't know mate, do you want to try again? <laughs> Loses have, another I two. I just taken that and taken a guy off. <laughs> another two down. But I've just gone and done them. Shoot these. Oh yeah, thank you. I've just gone and done them against that and it's done nothing. So the last unit to shoot is those guys. Spending a command point for for demo charges. Basically, the old counters having frag grenades, and they can all throw them. So that's going to be ten d6 attacks. So ten d6 shots. Three shots, needing fours. I think that's cocked. <laughs> Never seen that before. But there we go. Need fives to wound. Twenty-one hits. So that would be. It's going to be f five. Eight in it. Yeah, just eight. So eight saves, sir. Five up. That's my fail. So save three. So five. Five down. dead. Five gone down. For shooting, the rest now is going to be charging. This is not going to be funny. <laughs> Especially since I've increased the gap there. Right. Yeah, 
Let's, uh, I'm just going to do some charges off camera and we'll show you some carnage. So combat phase, if ever managed to charge into there, suffered one casualty, suffered a casualty down here, but they managed to get into the tank. And then they managed to get into those guys over there. They suffered a casualty, but didn't actually manage to get the charge off, which is a bit of a shame. Right, so the first off is going to be this squad here. Yeah. And they're going to fight those guys. Consolidating up, because we're in six of the Patriarch and six of the... Uh, Icon Ward, so they have got 44 attacks, there's four, uh, 11 guys in there, and the unit is 10 or more models, so I'm going to do it in two lots of 22, I'm going to roll to hit, and then roll to wound, and then roll to hit, and roll to wound again, so roll to hit first, needing twos, and then this is the first lot of wounding, I'm going to double check what the Icon Ward gives me, that's needing fours to wound, so that's three sixes and then four normal. Do you want me to do them now or not? Yeah, you can do, mate. They're only one damage a piece. So six is going to be four up because they're only they're one red, damage. Red in bombs. Yeah, and then the others are three up because it's minus one. So we'll take a save from normal and then. Another three from that, so I lose a guy and put a wound on one. Yep, so so far you've lost one and a half men. And then I need 22 again. Second lot of 22. <coughs> Two to hit. Wound in. Only one six this time. Only one six this time, but a lot more fours, sir. Five. Nine normal saves. On three up. Another guy gone, that's another, another guy gone. So that's that's it, two. so another two full men and you've still got one with one wound. Yes. So, he dies, he dies, puts a wound on him. So three left out of that squad. Unless you're interrupting. You are going to interrupt, yeah? Yeah, I'm interrupting. Okay, who are you in so you can only interrupt with that squad? Yep. And that's who you're interrupting with, yeah? Oh yeah. No problem, sir. Point. Mills has got seven in and he's got his uh, also he's got sorcerers, so that's eight guys in. He's playing another command point for Veterans of Long War. Veterans of the Long War. So any sixes? No. That's that plus one to hit and wound. Plus one to hit and wound. And wound? For one command point? Yeah. But it's per unit. No, it doesn't matter. That's uh, ridiculous. Yeah, Go on. Go on, sir. You can pop up three <laughs> inches away. I can't so... charge you, though. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 I did. Complaining since he's got a unit that can pop up within an inch of his tower and it's like. Fuck yeah. off. Uh, I'm not within an inch because I've moved away. So, still needing the. Oh, no. They hit, didn't they? I'm going to say, you said it's plus one to hit and plus one to yeah. wound for veterans in a long war. I, I right. just said that, but now yeah. I need threes to wound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. So you've got six. Six of them. That could be painful. Ooh, I'd lose five. We're just redoing that a little bit again. Five hits, because it's it's not plus one to hit, it's plus, plus one to wound. And it's a three, not five. I'll put my models back on in a moment. And I do still lose three, so I only get to put two back. So these are to hit. I do need freeze this time because I'm not within six of a patriarch. That's not as good. Force. So Any sixes are minus four. Now because it's only one damage, four. he's going to get a three up save against them with minus one and a four up save against them. So it's going to be four, seven normal. This is from the first lot. Saved oh. in one. But killed all them. Killed six. The first round. So the second lot of 22. Two. Teen hits that time. So one in one. And five, six, seven, eight, nine normal saves, sir. So the nine normals, we're looking one, at three ups. Two, three, four. They're all dead. They're all dead. Right. So they managed to cleave through those. And Freeman's consolidation will put me. Being I'm going to try it. Group. Yeah, I'm going to do it. John Murray Craig's units, Same the Hellbrutes. Right. Oh, morale. 
How many did you lose? No. Seven. Oh, yeah, I lost seven. Seven, I rolled a three. Rolled one. Uh, yeah, rolled a three. So that's seven, oh, eight, nine, one. ten. I do lose one. From one wound. Yeah. So I'll have to lose one of the models. Um, it's, not, it's not ten, is it? It's fucking campaign, nine. I get plus one leadership. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a campaign game. Um, I might have to take a test on those gene stealers. I'll check in a moment because they've lost three, five now this turn. Oh, yeah, one to did. Overwatch, uh, another three, and then one to the Hellbrute. So I'll check those in a moment. I'm just having a look at the field. And you've got no over morale. Have you? Oh, Zangors. They lost. They lost five, five. Up to 11. So I lose another four. Another four. All right. And then the Gene says, I think the leadership nine, but I'll check it in a minute. So they lost five and five, which would probably mean they lose another one. Pure Strains do lose another one out of that roll. They wouldn't, if I'd have lost any of those, they wouldn't test because within six inches of the Patriarch, so they're effectively fearless. Right then, sir. Uh, it's going to be your turn, but we need to roll. I'm going to let you roll this time. Well, so no, you, you roll short and I roll long. Oh, right, yep. Yeah. So short... Is again on your side. Same spot. Oh, no, it is. Three, it will be. It will be the same spot. So I will use a command point and, which and one roll, roll my dice. Damn it! So it's the same, spot. <laughs> same spot. Two markers, so that objective is doubly worth everything. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Mills has turned three. So Mills has just moved some units about. We've got some flamers coming down here. Those lads are going to try. I think they're going to. I think Araman and those boys are going to try and just wipe those guys out. And Havoc's moving up. Not much else moving apart from him down there. He's failed both the reserve rolls, so they will turn up next turn regardless because they, they will turn up on turn four. But now he's going to try and summon. So who's doing the summon? So I'm guessing it's this lad here. Yep. So. He's got a double again. I've so got a double. Take so a mortal. For a mortal wound, but I've got an eleven, so I'm bringing my pink horrors on. So he can bring the pink horrors in. Ooh. And nine inch away from that squad, and twelve within twelve, so within twelve to... and nine inch away from the enemy yours. units. So this is going to be interesting. It's gone off, especially to these gene stealers. They've been hit by all sorts of psychic shenanigans, mainly from Araman, and. Uh, Bit from these lads and then of course that's wiped those guys out um i don't know if i showed a video of those guys coming in some lovely unpainted pink horrors so the gray horrors have turned up yeah <laughs> um gray horrors split into gray two horrors. pink horrors when they die and he's tried to possess him and turn him into a chaos spawn and knocked him down to two wounds okay i'll kill you <laughs> right and sir and they didn't do anything oh, no, they, what did they do Glamour of Zeke. That's, they failed it, didn't they? Yeah, they yeah. failed that. So nothing on Redeemer those so Prince far. Prince failed his diabolic strength. But he did get his re-roll. He did get the free re-roll for me. And they got a plus one to their invulnerable save, making them four rather than five up. Yes. Right then, uh, so you're shooting. Which unit would you like to try and shoot with first? D6 flame minutes. So Just he one. is in range of these here. He's not moved out of combat, so they're still in combat. So he's just going to do D... It's basically a heavy flamer. Just two. Two auto hits. You didn't freeze. Just one. One, and then plus one, minus one. I do save. Uh, these guys. Yep. They're going to do their assault two. Against those. Against them. 20 shots from the pink horrors, needing fours. Re rolling ones. Ah, right, that's just for Heretic Astartes. No, Thousand Suns for him. I told you earlier um, on. Those are, yeah, but I believe it's Thousand Suns. They are, I don't think they're Thousand Suns, Salt they're Demons. Sorcerer. Thousand Suns. Get the reroll because it, they don't actually have Thousand Suns keywords. Um, right then, sir. So. I don't know, page, I don't know what strength they are. <laughs> strength user, so they are strength three. You need force to wound. What shots? And only one wound. Only one wound, wow. Uh, five up save. No, so one of them does die to those flames. So, this guy's fired his pistol into those and killed one. Araman fired his pistol into these, didn't do anything. We're going with a heavy bolter now. He's going to try and finish off his one wound sentinel, which 
he hated last particular turn. Go on, Ensa. I didn't move because I was locked in combat. Yep. But I'd still only hit once. <laughs> need a five. It does wound. It does wound. It's a minus one. I need a four up. 50 50. No. Does he explode? No. Just crumbles away. Terminators were there. 40 shots are now opening up on these lads here. They're no longer here. Right. Okay. So this lad here. What's he doing? Four shots into your icon. He's firing into the icon wall because it is minus one to hit the warlord due to his warlord trait. Oh, is he the warlord? He is the warlord, mate, yeah. So we won it. It oh, does nice. wound. No minuses because he's not using the Tanishan bolters. So four up to save and he saves. So it's just them guys. Yep. If they can see anything. I think they might be able to see some steel some jean guys over there, maybe. There's quite a few uh, sergeant can't see. Those guys are in range and can see. They did move, so it's just five shots. No re-rolls. So three hits. And two, two wounds. Minus two plus one, so I need sixes. No, I lost two more of those guys. This guys are going to open fire now with this Havoc unit. Flamers going into the hybrids and four rockets are going into the Lehman Rust battle tank. Which am I hold down from? Yeah, you got one yeah, last time. Yeah, yeah. So, right, sir. Flamer's in blue. Flamer is in blue to roll. I see how many hits. One hit from the Flamer. All the Havoc, three of the rockets hit. So, two of the rockets wounded and one. And the Flamer Wound. wounded as well. The Flamer doesn't have a minus. So, that's a save. Mm. And then two of the rockets, minus of two. I'm in cover, so I need fours. So, I saved one and I failed one. One. Now you wanted to use any of those re-rolls? No, I've got another four rockets coming at it. Okay. <laughs> and these don't get a cover. I don't get a cover save against these. So he's down a four. Go on then, sir. Another four rockets. Three, Three hits. hits again. Two, Two. wounds. Ah, one saved. Two wounds. It's still not dead unless, unless. I've got a free reroll. So That's I'll it. Yeah, that. yeah. He's going to use his free reroll. Still two. <laughs> He's down to two wounds on this Lehman Ross. Oh dear. Of his shooting. Not as many casualties as I thought this time round, but we've got some charges coming on. So let's go into... Not as many casualties, I've taken... Two. As what I thought I was going to oh, right. suffer. Uh, I've suffered a little less than what I thought I was going to suffer there. I thought I was going to lose this and maybe a sentinel. I thought both well, of did. those... you You lost a sentinel. No, I meant lost one of the other, other sentinels. Oh, one of the others. Yeah, I know, I, I thought I might have lost a gene stealers. I think in my head that was acceptable casualties just to be able to tech all them smites. Because it's not just teching against this army, it's not just teching the firepower, it's taking the psychic backlash as well. well I'm, <laughs> so I'm it's... hoping I can remove another four units in combat. Well, he's hoping. Right, let's Five see. Units, sorry, let's see what happens. Angles are in down here. That was obvious. Uh, they didn't lose anybody to a charge. No. These flamers, the uh, screamers, have come in. He's gone into the icon ward, and then the warlord's gone. No, you're not doing that. And he's kind of counter punched. So we'll see what happens there. I think I'll lose the icon ward, and then it, Mills might lose his. Uh, Hello. His bloke, and then of course the flamers yeah. have actually charged in down here. Now it's up to Craig on which one he All goes right. with first. He's going to go against the icon ward first. Do you need threes to hit, or is it twos? Yes, threes, threes for this guy. Three All hits. hits. Uh, pluses one for axe. So you strength five, which means you need threes to wound. Two, Two wounds. What's the minus of the axe? Two. Can't save. You, but didn't, didn't you have that thing for ignoring wounds I on do, six? I do, but doesn't it, doesn't, with it being a force axe, doesn't it cause D3 damage apiece? Oh, good call. So that'll be 2D3 damage. Good call. I'm two just wounds check, left. Just checking it, because four swords. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all D3, isn't yep, it? Yeah, it's all D3 I'm for four swords. So 2D3. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a five. mighty five. And he's gone down. 
So the Icon Ward is no more. Dreamers next, we've moved them in. Three attacks apiece, hitting on fours. This is not going to end well for me. Alright, what's your strength then, sir? Strength six. So, I've got these twos to wound. So you've got six at minus three straight two damage. This is going to be painful. Pretty bad. That's a hell of a lot of those units have gone down. I'll do Demon Prince. I didn't cast any decent powers on him. So it's going to be... This is going next. He's got seven attacks. What are you allocating here, sir? I'm going to do four on the one I'm facing. Yep. And three on the one... Furthest away from you. To, to my side, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Needing move. If you hmm, never mind, go. What well, do you need to hit twos? Twos. We re-rolls one. Yeah. So himself. Four hit. Apart from that one then. Four re-roll up. <laughs> Four hit. Yep. Strength. Strength seven. Toughness is six. Because I didn't plus anything to yep. it. Yep. So you're gonna need threes. All oh, good. What's the minus? Minus two straight two. So, the four, the fives, I got one, so that's six, so he'll go down, and then the three against the other one, will also go down, it's taken both of them out, the first one doesn't die, the second one doesn't, oh, why can't none of mine explode? Seven guys left out of the Zangors, they're attacking those guys, and they're all dead Dave, which... He's not consolidating, because uh, not quite sure which way he's going to be going on that. So Flamers! And then how many attacks do each of they get, sir? Just a D6 pistol flavour shot. Basic, oh, no, that's, that's when you, it's in your shooting phase. What's your close combat? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's weapon skill 5 ups. Yeah. Needing 3s to wound. I've got 2 attacks apiece. Yep. And 3 on pyro caster. So, no profile for that. So, so basically, but you need fives to hit. That's interesting. Yeah. Right. You need fives. Ooh. Three wounds. Three wounds, though. Normal armor. Five ups. Didn't save, so I do lose another three of these chaps. They're going down. Right. So, that's all the charging done. Uh, going on to continuous combats, so it's going to be them two oh, fighting yeah. the Steelers. Two. So still minus one to hit, needing force. Normal guy hit. Normal guy hit wound. No wounds. Right, so let's do my attacks back. Here they've managed to cause a wound onto them, no wounds on the tank. And they wiped out those uh, two Terminators, they're consolidating closer towards the Demon Prince. These guys here, they... Uh, well, the fought back, the bone sword fought back didn't do anything, but the rock saw killed one. And then we're just going to actually do this one on camera. So, six attacks. Need twos. I always miss with one. Needs freeze to wound with re-rolls. Right, so. The six is a minus of six and a straight three damage and the rest of them uh, minus three and a straight and D3 damage. Just so, sizes, but you need to know which one is the, the six. So we've got a red. So that fails, that's straight uh, three. Save them two, so I've suffered a straight three and then you've got two D3, which then, is two wounds, so he's dead. He's so he's gone. dead because he's only got five, so he's gone. So morale, I'm not sure what the leadership is on those guys. They lost one. Uh, I think I'll be all right with that. I'll lose I, him, I right. think might be. I know my guy's just gonna go. He's going to be like, nope, oh, <laughs> go. Yeah. All demons, leadership seven. All demons, so that should be okay. These lads lost three, so the leadership is seven. So they're okay. They don't lose any more men. Right. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. So I've got a two wound left on that. And I've got some guys to come in. Right. Let's go into Gene Steel Cult 10 3. Rolling for reserves. The small unit 5. They are not on. The Magus. He's not on. The Rock Grinder. 
it's on. Yay! The other patriarch, he's on as well. Yay! <laughs> so, two units coming in this turn. So, the Goliath Rock Grinders come on. The other patriarchs come on. They're locked in combat. Can't do anything about that. He hurtled all the way up there because they can still charge after the advance. These Gene Steelers are kind of surrounding this lad. They're probably going to be able to do a nice good charge in there. Making sure, because I've put um, the Magus is there. He actually gives people plus one to hit as well. As well as the Patriot, but he only affects Gene Steeler units. So hopefully he'll be able to take out the Flamers. And then be able to take out this guy. Um, I am going to play my last two command points. This is a psychic phase. So instead of casting the psychic power, my patriarch will do telepathic summoning. So I roll, it's like your summoning, I roll 3d6 and I bring on a unit, like you do. You're hoping it's gene stealers. I'm hoping it's fucking gene stealers. <laughs> Either that or maybe another unit that's died. Roll one again. So I've got a power level of 10. Telepathic summons has allowed a unit of 10 gene stealers to come down into this flank here. So I'm hoping I can try and take some of these guys out. I'm not sure personally, but there we go. Right. So. <laughs> into my shooting phase, which is not going to be long oh no sorry psychic phase that's counted as him using his psychic power so he can't do anything other because he's done telepathic summons he's going to try mass hypnosis on these yep. so i need a seven i've got an eight you can attempt to deny gotta try and deny it yeah yep. he has with a 12 damn so, I'm going to have to chuck my rock grinder into you instead then. And the Magos is still off the field, so I can't summon, I can't do any more powers until he's here. Right, shooting face. So, Goliath opened fire, actually did some wounds, but Mills saved them. Pistols from that squad over there into the tank and everything else, didn't really do anything. And then this guy here. So, the Goliath tank, he stood still, because he's now needing sixes to hit. His Nova cannon is firing over there, his plasmas is firing over there, his last cannon is firing over there. So 2d6 shot for the Eradicator Nova Cannon is 5 shots, needing 6s, is 3 hits, needing 3s to wound, that's 3 wounds with a minus of 2 sir. Stop 1, 2 go down. So 2 of those go down. I would normally go and get my D3 things, but I'm just going to roll them here. So, five plasma shots. Needing sixes. I did get a one, so I'm down to one wound, and I did get one six. Two's to wound. It's wounded. Minus a three. Takes another one out, and then a last cannon. Misses. So, we're down to two rockets. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Uh, he'll fire a pistol. Needle pistol. Two's to wound. It does wound, but you've got a normal save. Nope. No, so he's down to seven. I think. I'll check. Yeah. Three damage with a needle pistol. So three. So he drops down to five. Right. I ain't really got much left. So we're going to be doing some charging. This will be interesting. We know they're going to charge in there, we know they're going to charge here and he's going to try and charge both the Screamers and that Heavy Weapons team because he can't overwatch my Warlord It does mean that they're going to be, plus he wants to hit for that thing cool. Right Nobody's got any command points to interrupt so we're just going to go across the board so all of this slot is going into him There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 they still got a squad of 15? No, the unit that's stuck. But I don't think stuck. they've lost any casualties. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that? 8, Five, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10. 13, 14, 15. Yeah, they haven't lost any casualties. I thought they had. That's 4 attacks apiece, 15. Oh dear. Why 4? Oh yeah, 4 attacks apiece. 2, 3, 4, 5. Just to, just to them 5. That's what I'm going to do. So 5 at a time. 
I need twos to hit because I'm within six of the Magus. So Magus gives plus one to hit for all. Oh, for cough. All units. For the first five. Do you know what? I'm going to double check. Hey, I do think I need fives and sixes to wound you both, sir. You do. And your invulnerable save on this guy is four up. Four up. So, we've got three, actually. Is your normal armour three plus? Yeah. It is, isn't it? So I might as well put them all together. So, so far that's five wounds needing fours, sir. Takes two wounds, goes down to three. Second one. Next lot of five. Next lot of five. One, two, three, four, five. Another five. Good. He's gone. He's down. Right, so their consolidation will be that away. So I've got 24 in my hand. I need threes with this unit. And so what I'm going to do is to reroll three fails. So one, two, three. There we are. And then any ones and twos are removed. Now these are toughness 5, because they are slightly stronger, so I'm going to require 5s and 6s to murderise them. And they are not 1,000 suns, so I don't get a plus 1 to the save. So 2 6s will kill 2 straight off, because well, minus, I think they're minus 4. You said minus 3 earlier on. I'll check it. And then another 2. Patriarch hitting next, needing 2s. All hit. Toughness of that unit is four, so I need threes to wound with rerolls. So it's a minus of three. Their D3 the damage, and that's a straight three. And you got five. Got five normal and one straight three. So one's dead. So is it a four up or five up? Four up. I thought you said they were five up. I thought it would be no. them that were four up. Ephraim Demon, Ephraim Demon, Ephraim Demon, Ephraim Demon. They're all four ups. Okay. Next up is this Patriarch. He's got seven attacks due to his relic. Needing twos. Two ones. Needing threes with rerolls. So, there is two with a massive minus six and a straight three damage. Yep, D5. So two's dead. Two's dead. 3 D3. And 3D3. Three three. Right, so. First one. I'll blow that again because it's cocked. 3, 1, and then that kill. one will just kill that. So another, another. So he's taken out four of those terminators. We've already done the morale for that one bloke that's in there, and he's still alive. Uh, even though he's still got a chance to fight back. So four of them are down. And then so they'll be able to your, consolidate. Well, you've got your oh, got unit. To, I get to pick one. Yeah. I get to pick this one. And then they fight. Same again. Three against the flamers. And then them three against the tanks. Three against the flamers. Two hits. One wound. Save. And then it's three, four, five attacks against the, the tank because it's a sergeant. And no wounds on the sergeant. So just, mine, just yours to fight back. So you're fighting back here. Havoc. Uh, yeah, Havoc. Hits. He hits. Wounds. He wounds. He takes one down. I'm assuming he has only got one attack because he's a Havoc. Yeah, well, we're assuming. We'll have a look in a minute. Um, Ooh. And then you've got these to attack. You've got them to attack. Oh, yeah, I'll do them too. Move Three these guys these. in for you as well. You Minus in one to hit because of my relic. Right, so he's hit twice, wounded twice on the Patriarch. Two in ones both fail. So he does take four wounds, leaving him down to two. Patriarch being attacked. The odd colour will be for the Sorcerer. Which fluffed, which both. fluffed it. Uh, strength of five, toughness five. So you're going to need... Oh no, his toughness is six because of the Relic. So you're going to need fives. Not that it mattered. 
Three. D3 damage of pieces, aren't they? Yeah. In vulnerables. Hey, one goes through. For three. So he's down to three wounds left. Right, so tying them up. I don't think I'm going to be able to tie these up much longer because these are still in combat. But uh, they do get to attack. Two attacks apiece. Yep. Uh, Medium fives to hit. Oh, wow. It's a lot of hits. Or do you need to wound? Freeze. Toughness. Uh, strength four. So, five. I uh, saved two, so I lose three of them. Are there any others? Are you moving in? Yeah, might as well. Because well. you need to be within an inch of an inch, so one of the flamers will not be able to shoot. Actually, it would be able to if we did that. There we go. Fighting, right. we did forget. I didn't do a vehicle last one either. Didn't hit anything. So we need six. Right, morale then. They've lost three. So four, five, six, seven, they're okay. Screamers. Screamers are oh. fine. Uh, it's only if you've got an icon. You they get models back. It. It's no. them that have it. Yeah, they have it. These guys lost four. Nope. Right. Four, nine. five, six, seven. They lost three. Have it. Uh, I'd assume the leadership eight because they ain't a sergeant um, So we'll lose another. I'd check that because they might be leadership seven. Sergeant might be leadership eight. On Havocs. On Havocs, yeah. Havocs leadership without Sergeant is seven. He did lose both. This is not me rolling it. And I lost. How many? Gene? I lost two Gene Stealers, so I can't fail that one, even if I roll six, because my leadership is nine. And I didn't lose any Stealers out of this unit here. And they've passed on there, yeah. Right. So we're going to be going now into turn four. Right. I will roll. Again. <laughs> Short table edge. Short table edge. Yay! It's up here this time. Three. So, so it's centre over there. Because it's gates. one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's there, isn't it? Basically the same but opposite, isn't it? Yep. I'll measure up in a minute, 12 inches up. So we've got it. another marker, but that one is still worth two. Right, let's go into turn four. Mills has broken off from there. These guys have ran. These screamers have ran because I think they're an assault weapon. It's 18 inch assault weapon, isn't it? Yeah, it's an assault yeah. weapon. Um, they've stood still. Other units coming on from reserve down there. Now it's time for summoning. End of the movement phase. Suffers another mortal wound. <laughs> but I have 50 at uh, 13. 13. The only models at the moment he has left is another three screamers. I could bring ten blue horrors on. He could bring ten blue horrors on if you wanted to, but then you would have no... Oh, would you still have models left when they start dying? Yeah, I've got there 30. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, sorry, 40. I've got 40 on. So he could bring ten blue horrors on if he wanted to, but it might be a waste. But these move 16 inches. They do. Alright, so he's going to get those deployed, and we're going to be getting into... Some more psychic shenanigans. So psychic shenanigans has gone off. Movement's gone off. The warlord for myself is no more. He is gone. Psychic to death by Araman. And he nearly killed my... Magus. My Primus, sorry. Uh, but thankfully, one of these brave boys sacrificed themselves to be right in front of a powerful bolt shot. I did lose another gene stealer to some smite. So we're going into the shooting phase. Neither us, if I really, really look at this, I've got a hell of a lot of models left that can shoot. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the Terminators have fallen back so they can't, but they can. They can fire their assault weapons with a minus one to hit. And of course the flamers can fire their pistols. I'm guessing that's what you're doing first, sir. Yeah, so they need to fire into your Try and up this, and then that will be able to shoot. So, me flamers first. Alright. Oh, that's Eight. not fair. <laughs> 24, 27. Automatic. There's still only three guys left. Well, I'll tell you what. I've got. Right, I've just got 27. Right, roll six. 
That's five. So that's five at a minus one. I'm dead. <laughs> Just there we go. The flamers. Six of the flamers can see my pitch out. And he is the closest. So they are going to try and have a pop at him. One, Needing fives. Two, three, only three. Strength. Four, in it. So you need fives to wound. Three. Strength for you, user. Strength oh, Alright, so you need sixes to wound. You've just said toughness five. It's tough, it? That one's toughness six. Oh, right. Well, you've got one wound then. Yeah. Because he's got that relic that makes him plus one to his toughness and wounds. It does take a wound, though. Oh, no. Hang on. It's a four up on that, so he doesn't take a wound. What's next, then, sir? I'm going to rapid fire me. Rubric Marines are two. <laughs> yeah. Thought that were happening. Uh, they've stood still. So all of them are still, are they all still alive, these? Yep. Three, six, all, nine, yep, ten. All still alive, and they cast prescience on them. So they, uh, yeah, he did. Oh no, he cast it onto the tank. He did. He I thought they tank. failed. Did they fail it? Failed it, so it'd be freeze to hit. That's fine. It's still gonna die. Free, oh, well, probably. So hell of a lot of hits. Fives to wound. Oh, maybe not. I've only rolled one. 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 all them. That's one in one save. No. So he does go down to two. So he's taking the hits. Predator. Predator wanting to fire at the Goliath rock grinder. Um, just it can't see. I'm going to hang fire a minute. It can't first. see him, though. Oh, no, I can't target him. His heavy ball turned into your magus. Oh. He's closer. Oh. He did move and yeah. move again. So <laughs> forced to hit. Only one. Wounds. It does wound. Normal armor. Right, so if I fail it's if I fail a save and then I can allocate, can't I? So normal armor with a mind yeah, normal armor's a five up because it's plus one minus one for being on cover. He doesn't, he fails it. On a four plus, I can take a gene stealer off instead of him. Yep, so a gene stealer dies instead of him. It says now ready to fire into the rock grinder. Two, three, three. This is gonna hurt. Two shots every time. It's been really good, right? So last cannon in blue. Yep. Needing twos. All hit. All hit. Toughness is seven. Changing some dice. Yep. I'm only changing it, but we're, we're not superstitious at all. Yeah, we're not. We're not superstitious at all. Scumbag. <laughs> right. So, so they worked. they've gone through. They're a minus one, so I do get saves against them on a five up. I don't save, so that's going to be six damage, and I can't save against the last cannon, and that causes five. I'm going to check rugged construction. There's a six. There's a lot of oh, the life rock grinder never survives. I didn't roll one. <laughs> that's a shame. Uh, it doesn't matter about it exploding, but there is five guys inside. In the whole boat. Oh, you did curse me like that, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Hey! None of them died. Right, that is it. They've lost... I'm just having a look for charges. I'm guessing there might be a charge over here, but they've lost... I'm just thinking of morale in my head at the moment. Demon Prince is going to charge into there. I can't stop him from doing anything on that. And that's it. Yeah, so they've suffered three because you sacrificed them. Wait, three that I suffered, or two? No, you had 15. Now you've got 12. Oh no, I, I sacrificed two and you shot one. That's why I've got 12, so oh. I've lost three. So even if I roll a six, I still can't fail because it's leadership nine. Are they? Yeah. Right, so charging it in these guys then, sir. Aim into them. Yep. Failed. Ooh. What's he doing? These guys into him. Oh, good one, sir. Good one. Uh, roll to see what. It, see fact, if you get no, in. He can go first. Okay, yeah. Because it causes D3 damage with his pistol, doesn't it? He does, mate, yes. So um, he can go first. Just roll to see if he gets, he gets in. Six, we'll check that. So these guys versing him, which are you units going first? Well, I think I'll go with these. Screamers? No, I'll go with this guy first. Okay. So he needs threes to hit, doesn't he? He's got about yes. four attacks, I believe. Four attacks. Uh, threes to hit. Two. Two's to wound. Just one. one. Minus so three, I straight fail three a, I fail a saving throw, so then I can allocate four up. I don't. So then he just goes bleh and dies. What, does he fail the saving throw? He, I can't. 
Has it not gone in one? No, it's not going in one. Oh, right. Um, so it just dies. Um, so then you can consolidate three inches, and then they can consolidate three inches, and then, well, they move, and then consolidate three inches. Well, three inches. So three inches. Will get me weighing an inch of them. What? That's going to be weighing an inch, isn't it? I, might, I can't attack you, but it's going to get me weighing an inch of them. All right. And then these get to move an inch. Which closest model is this? Oh. All right, well, yeah, I'll move into that then. I'll do a little flip, a little somersault while I'm doing it. But because the guy that they're attacking is dead, they can't do any attacks. That's fine. It means you can't shoot. So, we then go into ongoing. So it'll be him attacking. And then I... Get to consolidate up with these. Yeah, you get to attack him, I, I know that, but. Yep, yeah, I'll get to you'll, attack. You'll kill him, you'll wipe him out, like you did. Go on then, sir. Demon Prince. Attack um, him. Hits. Doesn't wound. Right, so we'll go across the board. So he's consolidated into there. We've had a bit of a discussion because <laughs> Mills didn't realise that if you move closer and they consolidated up, you could be attacked. So he's gone that way into the tank. So the tank can attack him in a minute. These are attacking him. We've got eight guys that can attack, four attacks apiece. I'm rolling this twice. Need him freeze. Toughness. Seven. Needing fives and sixes. No invulnerable save on this, is there? No. So any sixes. So any sixes. I'll double check to make sure they're minus four. We will have a look, and I do need fives and sixes. So we've got another four with a minus of one. So just take those four to begin with. And that will reduce, knock you down a three, three and two. then I'll go and check. Hold again, I got some more wounds, and Mills has failed another save, so he's dead. Do you explode, sir? I don't think so. I think it's just the, in fact... Just roll a d6. Oh, no, it would all simultaneous. You yeah, just yeah. It up. Yep. Um, I do explode. You do? No, I don't. No, you don't. So he goes down, and they're going to kind of stay still, because if they consolidate, they've got to consolidate towards this here. Right, two fish engaged with the tank. I'll just do a roll. The tank doesn't do anything. Right, so I've still got a patriarch here. Still got these units of gene stealers. You've literally got gene stealers of a tank left. Uh, no, because I've got Omegas and another small squad oh, of guys that still need still to turn up. Work. And I've got these adamants as well. Oh, gene stealers are. Yeah, so, right. You've lost all your men. I've lost a lot of men. It's trying to get hold of those objectives. Or it doesn't matter how many men I lose as long as we hold these objectives. And that's worth two. And then we have to roll Is again. It's a random game like this. Yeah. So it could be that it ends on turn five. It could be that it ends sooner than that. Right. Let's bring in some boys. Shooting phase. A couple of pistols into him. And nothing happens. So, yeah. Let's do some charging. I'm going to go across the board and we're just going to start with these guys and then move on to him and yada yada yada. Uh, we've got some charges off down there as well. A lot of gene stealers moving in. These lads here, uh, those are for the power picks. So I need fours because of your psychic power. So two pick hits, one rending claw hit. These are strength five, strength six because I'm twisted helix. So I need freeze. So that's a minus four, uh, just one damage, and that is a minus two D3 damage. So go with that one first, and sir. So that's a four minus up. four. So yeah, because it's only one up. damage. Nope. No, and then that it's one. A wound, and that'll kill him. Oh, yeah, no, well, it's uh, a minus two, so D3 damage. So it'll be four up armor. Yep. No, nope. so, so that will kill guy. one guy. And then I've got two power hammers. These do need. Fives to hit due to the power. So I do get a hit. These are strength 12. I do get a wound. It's a minus of three and a straight three damage. Yep. So I do kill another one. So seven attacks from this Patriot because he's the one with the relic. Two's to hit. And then he needs fives to wound with rerolls. So I've got one six, which is a massive minus of six and a straight three damage. Yep, so it gives me three wounds. And then another one with a minus three and D3 damage. Saved it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pain in my backside. Great. 
But he is locked in combat. Over there. Over here, we've got this slot against the Lord, well, demon. I'm missing my characters. Oh, cheers. Fives and sixes. Right, so, because of the invulnerables, it's just going to be three wounds, sir, four up. Same. One down. Two. And then three against the Zango Shaman. Toughness. Four. So four to wound. What's his armour? What's his invun? Normal armour is six. Yep. He's got an infant save of five. Right, so it'll be four wounds needing fives, mate. And he has four wounds. He does. So I need to save one. Yep. Nope. No. So he goes down. Against Araman. I've got a plus one strength, plus one attack. Mills has got a free up invulnerable save. Yeah. Um hmm. die. I am doing. I need freeze. These are the first five people of his twelve. I need freeze to shit. I'll roll that one in a minute. I need freeze to wound. I'll save you six. Two, three. Unless you rolled any more six. Did you re-roll that one? I did, mate, yeah. So so that's, oh, that's a three. So I've all right, three okay. sixes already. Take them out. So that's another ten wounds and a three up. Suffers one wound. Suffers another wound. Then, suffers one wound. So your next five is down to three. Mm. Right, I've re-rolled another five, so effectively I've only got one guy left. So, because it's all three up, there's no real need to do it separately, actually. So, six, seven, eight, that's ten. And then that's five, six, seven, eight, so eighteen wounds. Roll your five now, and then I'll roll yeah, sure. together. That's a good idea. Five, threes and threes. So, I've got and another 20. two. So, twenty wounds on Araman. He's got, is it three wounds left? Yeah, three wounds left. So three five. wounds left. Five. So he's down to one wound. Down to one wound. Dead. He's gone. Right. So they sh shimmied up. Mills fought back with his uh, guy there. Managed to kill two of the Gene Steelers. This unit, the flying weird manta rays, have managed to destroy that. It has gone up. It has exploded on that dice roll of a six. So they suffer two mortal wounds. So they would lose a man. Which does effectively make them fearless. Now, Terminators fighting back against these. Right, so, chain stave in blue. Needing freeze. So, level out hits. I am doing the toughness four, though. But they need freeze. Uh, they need threes. Everybody else needs fours, so it's only what? Well. Is it four axes or four swords? The normal four guys swords are swords, but the uh, main yeah. guy is an axe. So. So that one I can save on a five up. Because the, the, yeah. them to a minus two, that's minus three yeah. in it for a sword. So the minus two and the minus three I can't save. So against a sword, do I ignore it? Yes. Them, because they cause D3 damage, I ignore that on a five up. Because they cause D3 damage, but you I'm reduce. Roll these first. Yeah, do them, you do them one at a time. So roll the first one, and then you minus one because of. Um, my, what do we call it? Basically, minus one to the amount of damage coming into them. So roll the first one, which one. is a one, so that's just one damage. And then do I ignore it on a five? No, so that's a wound. So it kills one. So it kills one, yep. And then the next one is three, three. so that'll be two damage. And it does kill another, actually. So I do lose another two. He's attacked back with him, managed to actually inflict a wound on the Patriarch. I did panic then for a second. In if it not for his relic, he would have died. It wore fives to it, so what did I roll? Because I've cast prescience on it to plus one to hit. Or is, plus, is it only for shooting that? I think it's only for shooting. Oh, it might not be. Students have lost three. 
You oh. lost two. Can you fail a test on them? You can't, can you? Because you're no. too tight. I get a three inch so, roll for this. Five, six, seven, eight. I do lose another adamant. That's not good. Get three inch move for that, don't I? Because your tank's oh, dead. Oh, yeah, because your tank's dead. Yep. So you would have got a three inch consolidation move. I can't fail any leadership test there. And I can't fail no, any leadership test on them. any of them. Well, they didn't get hurt. And they didn't get hurt. Neither did anybody else. Uh, apart from, like I said, they lost two, but they can't. And I did lose one more of the adamants. The adamants are not doing great. I've not got a lot left, but I am chewing through stuff. Slowly but surely. And I'll be honest, he can start summoning more and more. He's got some more of these up. Yeah. So we'll see what's... Right, let's find out where this objective lands. And then we'll see what happens in this turn. So you're so, short. Short. Is the middle. Long. Oh, it's going to be over there. Just having a look at the battlefield. The objective has landed there. Nils can get it with floaty men and make sure that no one's within six. This one might end up being a bit of a smoz, but if I kill all him and there's two there, then I've managed to claim two. That's one. Well, then this one's also up for grabs, which that adamant's not going to last. He can move this unit and this unit onto that to capture it and I'm not within six even if I break off I'm probably not going to be within six if it's a draw and it's two objectives apiece Mills wins so this is where it's getting to a crunch time now I always say this and it's always a good adage to go by but play the turn yeah you've got to play the turn play the you? turn I've got to take my tank off I've forgotten what it's exploded gone so you play the turn and we'll see what happens They're still locked in combat. Mills has fallen back with this guy, but he's just going to flame him to death. Well, he hopes. Uh, screamers have gone across, managed to land on there, capture that objective. That one screamer has whittled his way up. We need to get these painted because it is annoying me that they're on the floor, and I'm just thinking of flapping fish. They are. <laughs> yeah. this, this is where they got them uh, Age of Sigma fish idea from. Oh, yeah, 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 possibly, possibly. A lot of these guys on the floor. Uh, those guys have spread out. That is going to be really interesting. Now, the thing is, I still need to be able to actually kill lots of stuff. And um, we're going to be going into Mills' psychic phase. He's still got that guy left that can do psychic powers. This guy left that can do psychic powers. And he's got the odd power on squads as well. Right then, sir. Away you go. Right, bringing you guys in. We've had a couple of smites on there, lost two guys, lost three gene stealers from against the Demon Prince with a smite. We've had Prescience, so plus one to hit, best way of putting it, yep. on those. And the Blue Horrors have got an increase in their uh, invulnerable save to a four plus. He managed to summon those Blue Horrors because he hasn't got any pink ones left. So <laughs> and the pink's not really taking part much in the game, have we really? But uh, not yet. it does mean that he keeps bringing units on. It has been a little bit of a... Swine trying to get his units down because the two units are holding the objectives he didn't ever paid a power level for. Yeah. So, right. Go on then, sir. What are you shooting? I'm guessing you're shooting with these. Rubric Marines are going to often fire into this Gene Stealer unit. Yep. Roll to wound and then I'm going to check um, that psychic power I cast on them. I think it's just plus one strength, plus one attack, but I will double check once you've rolled to wound, sir. Right. Just a wound and I got eight. He got eight wounds. Ah, saved three, lost five. That's bad. It's coming in, 3d6 shots. That's bad. That's really, really bad. A lot of auto hits. Strength of four versus toughness six. Needs fives. That's a lot of fives. Mm. Two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? Eleven five ups. <sighs> Where's the expendable squad when you need it? Yeah, why don't you do your loyalty bonus? Yeah. Where you get to four plus it to anybody. Four plus to the ruin. <laughs> yeah, look, he's gone. And he doesn't explode or anything. But that's another patriarch dead. 
check the pink horrors are in range and line of sight of the gene stealers. This is not looking good at all. I've got a funny feeling this particular turn I will be tabled. Being forced to hit with the horrors because it didn't advance. Ooh. And then there's a three there. Look at that. Yeah, those are four pluses on the blues for those that can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, strength is three, I think. I think it's user, user, which is strength three. Yeah, yeah so so five. he needs five. So that's my only saving grace. Oh, two. two. Not as bad as I thought. Yeah, they're not great, but I still lost one. It's with the shooting. We're going to be looking at the charge phase. Not a, not a lot it's going off. Failed charge over there. But definitely in with the Zangors, which he's going to have to do first because there's no way of not doing the Zangors first. No. So, how many attacks a piece? Two attacks a piece? Two attacks a piece. I think I have 11. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, 11. 11 left. To hit force to wound quite a lot of attacks. A few ones there. He's only able to re roll them. There's a two there, sir. Force to wound. That's harsh. So you have seven. Seven. Five up saved. I don't think there's seven guys left. Two, three, six guys. And guess what? I failed six. They go down. They've all gone. So, it's down to these three plucky chops. Uh, seven? Yep, seven attacks. Are you rolling yeah. the ones? It's a good job you do, because that would have been a lot of fail. Freeze to wound. Five. <laughs> yeah, all right, pal. <laughs> all five! There you go. <laughs> I'm laughing. Right, hammer time. Yeah. Meaning fives. Doesn't hit. And then them attacking uh, back. Why do you need fives? Because it's minus one for the hammer. Minus one to hit you because it's... Oh, didn't cast didn't. it. So, so that you, four you, did you hit. hit. You hit once. Wounded because it's strength 12. Minus a three. Roll that again. Yep. So it does mush one person. This unpainted unsightly chappy will go down. And then they get to attack. So we've got two swords left on her. You have me and the mace. Well, axe. Yeah. A well, staff in things. Weird he's, staff. He's armed with a staff that you can swap yeah. about. So, so freeze to hit. The axe missed anyway. So I've got swords. So basically, I just need one. I need two to wound. Don't two. I? You need two wounds. Um, it's toughness of four, so you need force to wound. Dead. Oh, no. No, he gets no, no, to no, no. It, he? I can ignore wounds on a five up. He's still alive. So, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. But, I'll be honest. Right, so I'll tap back with them. So, three, six, nine. Three's to hit. And five and sixes to wound. Three sixes, which will be your in runs. One wound. So, another wound stripped off him. Now, let's take a look at this. We've just been having a look. If he falls back here, that's within six, it stops that objective. I've rolled a six for him. If he goes under there, he's within six, he stops the objective. They fall back there, get within six of that one, stop the objective. The problem is with the rules is, if it's a draw, the attacker wins a minor victory. So even if I run around like an idiot, the only thing that could really win it is if he successfully smites the crap <laughs> out of him. We'll try it. If you advance. That is the only, yep. So if you advance, we've advanced 12. So it will get so he's you. supposed to be a bit further up so I could actually see him. It will get you there. So he's fallen back, they've fallen back to there. So try your smite. And then a smite, which is a six. So it's You cast. have got people that can deny. 
I've got him in, this, in range of denying. What he did is. you get? I've got a six. And Nine. he stops me. So in actual fact, I cannot win the game. Even if I stop everything from happening. But that's been a good one. Mills has done nothing but summon. <laughs> in a normal game, I won't do it. No, I, I cannot no. justify points for pink horrors, flamers, I don't screamers. know. They've done quite well know. as a unit. They might be all right. Yeah, How many points have they? That's all. Points of those particular units. We have pink horrors. Yep. Pink horrors are seven points apiece. That's so not too 70 bad. points for a unit of 10. That's good, that. Yeah. Unit of guards, 50. Yeah, but you've got to bear in mind, you've got to keep these points to the side outside your battle, outside your... Well, no, you can deploy them on tabletop if you wanted well, to. You can do, and then if they die, you can try and summon them, but you can't well, no, try and summon you them can't. because they're not part of your reinforcement cost. Yeah, so you, so, so you could put 140 points aside, have them on the tabletop, and then when they die, try and summon them back in. But you've got them at seven points. You've got Brimstone Horrors at three points each. Ah, yeah, because when you die... You're going to have to pay the for the split. So you've got to pay for it all. So And then you've got your blue, uh, your blue horrors, yeah. which are five points. So effectively, you've got to come up with 150 points spare to have oh, no, a 10-man unit of a horrors. pink splits into two blue. Oh, it does, ah. Uh. So a pink splits into two blue, and then so those blue splits into one stand so on Brimstone apiece. So it's 23 points. 23 points each. per model. So 230 points for pink horrors. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> That's just that unit. Let's go to Flamers. 28 points per model. Ah, well, Flamers have done really, really well, Flam I'll be honest. Flamers move 12 inch and fire a D6. D6 Flamer they're, they're, at 12 nice. inches. They're, they're good. They're, they're good. They're, I know it's only a strength 4 Flamer, but... And the crap in combat. But if you get them in combat and then they survive a turn, oh, yeah, they just cook nice. everything. The Screamers. 31 points each. I think they're worth it. They're nice. Forced I, to hit at a minus three with two damage. I think they're, they're worth nice. it because 16 inch movement, you're going get, to get a turn one charge out of them. Pink horrors are expensive. Pink horrors, maybe not bothered with, but I think everything else, for if it, even in a non in a match play game, you probably would consider them. I'd, I'd definitely consider the Screamers and the Flamers. Yeah. But at 23 points apiece for <laughs> Pink Horror... Yeah, that's moves, including his reinforcement cost, yeah. But it moves 6 inches. Yeah. It's strength 3. Yeah. The, uh, ah, yeah. The only upside it's got is a 4-up invulnerable save. I think the only upside it's got is the fact that it, it disintegrates into different units. Yeah, so we, it's, an, it's a pain in the backside to kill, but... Because it, we'd have to have a look at an FAQ, because I bet some FAQs do mention that you include the cost, maybe, of the blue and then the... Thing. I don't think it will. The icon's all right. If you roll a one, it summons D6 pink horrors back, which I think is another reason why they're pretty expensive. Mm, maybe. But they've got the assault two weapons, D4s, yeah. fives if you advance. Yeah. So they've got a bit of shooting. They've got a four up invulnerable save. Yeah. But they're not worth 23 points. <laughs> Well, you don't have to do it like that. You could just basically not put any reinforcement points aside and just have them at seven points apiece. Because then they'd just be an annoyance unit, wouldn't they? Anyways, very good. A victory for Mills. I don't win a lot on my channel. <laughs> That's why I, like I know we had channel. a bit of a couple of disagreements in the rules at some at one point, but they were resolved. And uh, we do find out that Araman's no longer dusty. So <laughs> but he does have a free up in vulnerable save, which can actually be very, very powerful. Well, just not took, when you've got. It took how many attacks? Oh, I had a lot, mate. I'd, no, I, I don't think... It, it were five, the, the, 12 men at five the, attacks apiece. Yeah, but the first 25 attacks, I lost yeah. one wound. Yeah, you did, yeah. And then it took another, I think it were 18 attacks yeah. or something like that. Before he lost his wounds. his wounds off, so... Yeah. For one guy to take on 38 wounds, I did yeah. bad at three did, saves for he that. He did all right. He did all right, to be honest with you. And three just remember... Saves. He's already done his graft when he took out a knight on his own. Yep, yeah, that's true. In a previous game, if you ever watched the large battle report, he did take out a knight. Oh, and then he took out Ben Hall's smash card. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was quite funny. I'm going to do um, something. No, you're not. When Apocalypse comes out, guys, we will be having some games, hopefully. If Craig likes it. <laughs> Persuade me otherwise. Pers Persuade me to like it. and I'll. I'm not giving you another... 
Kit Kat or Snickers or whatever it was. No, that time. no, I'm not on about crunchy. <laughs> not right, crunchy. Uh, I'm on about if. Persuade, if persuade gonna... me to play it. I will, mate. But, mate, you know. I will. Is it going to be a? Is it going to be as good as what? Fourth edition Apocalypse was. Oh, fourth edition Apocalypse was amazing. When you charged in with like six and seven thousand points for army and just went, ah, I'm gonna do line. I don't know what, what it concealed line or whatever like that. Oh like, right. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So this that great big gun line just set up. You can't see through it, so you're not sure we know. What? Yeah. What? Well, some of the well, strategies are amazing. Then, I'm gonna throw a vortex grenade yeah. on your squad and watch it disappear. It's like yeah, yeah. So if that if it can compete with fourth edition apocalypse, I will hey, play it. Hey, Imperial Guard, Voxcaster, on my position. Yeah. <laughs> Massive blasts all over an imperial, the remains of an imperial guard squad. Go to ground, you have to go to ground yep, to do it. Go to ground first off, then you bring it in. Majority of the time, that one guardsman with the Vox caster was the one that was remaining alive. <laughs> As everything else around him died. Burning like 60 crude. Oh, that were brilliant. That was fantastic, some of those games. We've, we've had some great games of 4th edition Apocalypse. We may, so. actually, because we've... St I think I can still get hold, maybe, of some of the 4th edition rules. We might be good at doing the comparison. Having a quick go of the old school 4th edition. Okay, well, if you can get rules for that. Apocalypse. We'll probably play it and go, it's fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be down here somewhere. It's there. 4th edition Apocalypse. Yeah, but I think that need, might be it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. We'll check. You need rules for actual units. We do. Well, we need rules. We need the codex. Thousand Co Suns Codex didn't have one. It was Chaos, no, it Space, was Chaos Marines. Space Marines with Thousand Suns added. Right. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button if you want to see more. Please be aware all terrain and miniatures, apart from some of the demons on the board, are done by rootstem.co.uk. And if you want to commission paint jobs, if you just go, it sounds a bit rude, that doesn't it? Just go over to rootstem.co.uk. No, that's just weird. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on that note.